share this channel on the internet. Good morning, everybody. And yep, we're back in the best place on earth. Where is that? The water. And where are we at? Miami. Check it out. Beautiful morning. Today it is 4th of July, so I would like to wish America a happy Independence Day. And look at this. First time we take out the island hopper and the big hydro. See that? First time. And actually, we got here late, late late last night because i knew there were ramps were going to close today really early and they did they actually closed however closed at 6 45 can you believe that and then right after that around 8 the rest of the ramps closed so we're here on 4th of july celebrating and right now we're at beer can island and uh later on we're gonna go over to the simba baby best place on earth Woo. well guys like i said before we came in last night really late actually around 11 30 at night and glad we made the decision to come because I wasn't expecting the ramps to close so early in the morning. I figured it's a Tuesday, everybody works, but I guess I was dead wrong because look how early it is now and look how many people are here already. And I didn't record while we were launching off the boat because it was so dark and you already know that these cameras do not work good at night at all. But we made it, we're here and you're here, so let's enjoy the show. And like you can see, definitely today is a beautiful day to be out on the water. And actually today is pretty amazing because I've been boating in Miami for a very long time and I've never seen so many sardines like today. The water was full, they were everywhere under the boat. And you know, my kids are gonna take advantage of this situation. what you call love for fishing we're here hanging out the day just started and now since they caught a whole bunch of sardines they're going out fisking fisking and the water is great check it out water check i'm gonna give it an eight yes miami water i'm gonna give it an eight it's pretty nice though the temperature is great i would say it's like 82 perfect for me so here we go with today's show should be fun because you know how it goes for the july people Fourth of July weekend, people get a little excited, so it should be fun today. Well, the morning is still young, and there's a lot of people on the island, and more are coming. And they're getting here by any means possible, with anything that floats. Kayaks, jet skis, paddle boards. And talking about jet skis, I said it in my other videos. Remember guys, around Beer Can Island, the whole area is idle zone. And during any holiday here in Miami, the cops are out in the water looking for lawbreakers. So don't mess up your day and just follow the rules. And well, for the Quito and Joel are loaded up with sardines, so they're gonna head out on the island hopper and try their luck fishing. Okay, so while I'm outside here, sweating, sweating bullets because it's super hot it must be like 110 right now and no wind right look look what what our guests and ogida are doing check it out look what everybody's doing oh my gosh eating breakfast Mira, in the cold great. ac yeah i'm actually gonna go in there too look at this thing he's trying to feed that to me look at that these are busting what are you what are you having Strawberry waffles. waffles they're a little wow. curvy they're curvy but 
A little curvy. There they go. Okay. Wow. Look at this thing. You trying to kill me? And just in case you're wondering, right now the cabin is 75 degrees, just perfect on a hot day like this. And while we are eating breakfast in the cold cabin, my friends with the Edgewater are coming to join us here at Birkin Island. And they have a pretty long ride because they came all the way from Bayfront Marina. And they made it. But you know something that's not that far away? Actually, it's pretty close. On July 29th, get ready to hang out with us at Hallover Sandbar and have some fun in the sun. Do you guys remember last year? Well, this year is going to be even bigger. So make sure you pull up with us July 29th, Hallover Sandbar, baby. Y vino con el familión. And definitely we're getting ready to have some fun in the sun but before heading over to the sandbar we're gonna take a dip here at Beer Kalainen because it's super hot and the water's pretty good and also it's my friend's first time visiting Beer Island. Islands and remember today is 4th of July so we're gonna spend the whole day on the water so we got plenty of time to spare and that means we're in a hurry to do nothing but enjoy the water and whatever the day brings us Well, the kids came back and they joined us here at Birkin Island on some relaxing, relaxing, water refreshing time. And like you see, today is one of those days that it doesn't matter if you're on the water, on the boat, or just walking around the island, you enjoy every moment of it. Uh, you're dark. Yeah, yeah, I'm the, the sun. One, two, three, happy Halloween. And well, right now it's around 11 or 12. I don't really remember or paid attention to. But we're going to pick up and work our way towards the sandbar because the later it is, the more boats come there. And we want to be as close as we can to the shallow spot and aquatic flavor. Plus, it's getting pretty close to lunchtime, and we want to do that at the sandbar. Also, I brought a few aquabanas that we're going to inflate, but we're going to do that over there.
Now we're moving location number two from Island Life to Sandbar Life. I got a new co captain. Hi. Hey. I don't know how to work the boat, but. And just like I figured, the sandbar is pretty full, and that's gonna make it harder for me to work my way through the boulders and get as close as I can to aquatic flavor. And there's two things you definitely have to be careful and watch out for, and that is the anchors in the water, plus figure out which way the current is going. So when you throw your anchor, you don't run into nobody else. And definitely the most important thing, the swimmers in the water. But there was no problem. We worked our way as close as possible to aquatic flavor and found a shallow spot to drop anchor. And right away, we got down to serious business. And you know what that is? You know it, baby. The best part of the day, food time. And today we got the master chef, Beto, cooking up some pork. Plus, you know you can't come to the sandbar and not have sausage time. We got a full menu today. We got pork, sausages, chicken, and jumbo hot dogs. So today, we're ready to take on the whole world. Well, actually the whole day, because we are gonna be in a long time here. Plus, while he was cooking, I was setting up the Aquabanas. And today, I brought out the Party Banner and the Mega Lounger. That Ogita seems to be enjoying it. And I'm getting pretty good at setting this up. It only took me about 35 minutes. And also, by the time I finished inflating them, my good friend Dewey showed up too, with his friends. So while we wait for the food to get cooked, we're gonna take a look around and see how the rest of the boaters are enjoying their sandbar life on 4th of July. And a quick reminder, it is Tuesday. Okay, enough looking around, it's time to get back to serious business. Okay, so what's going on here? How come they're preferring the big hot dogs instead of the sausages? I think that's a question I'm gonna ask them next time I see them eating hot dogs. Well, you know me, I'm gonna stick to my sausages. And well, so far so good. It is about 2.30 in the afternoon, so we still gotta wait some more to nightfall for the fireworks. So we're gonna keep enjoying the music, the water, and definitely the good food. Even though they're choosing the hot dogs over the sausages. And for those people that follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you notice that I've been posting a few promo codes from Tube and Wet Sound. And you guys should take advantage because they're 15% off. I'm gonna leave a link on this video so you guys can check it out and take advantage of the savings. If you're looking to put a new sound system on your boat, or if you're looking to float around at the sandbar. And definitely, if you guys purchase the Flusso Tubes, you guys can hang out with us July 29th. And talking about hanging out, I'm gonna go ahead and lay with Ogita because I am tired of running around with the camera, so I'm gonna take a little break.
And like you can see, we're having a great time here waiting for the fireworks. And like you notice, the fun of the sun is not stopping. But the video is because there is a part two to this day. And you don't want to miss that because more of my boating buddies came out and wrapped up to us. And the fun started before the fireworks did. Make sure your notifications are turned on because you definitely don't want to miss part 2. And yes, we also saw the fireworks. All that and more is coming up in part 2.